Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm coming to you with my one week postpartum update. Oh, you guys. <clears throat> it has been an experience for me. Because it's been, you know, three, three years since the last time I had a baby. So everything's like brand new to me. So, baby girl, her name is Elizabeth, but we call her Chi Chi. You guys, I had her at 36 weeks, which I knew she was going to come early because she was pretty heavy. She was pretty big, y'all. And y'all know Chunky came at 36 weeks, too. So, y'all, I have my notes. Y'all know I have to take my notes. So, <clears throat> with, with, after I gave birth to her, you know how the doctors, they come and check you and see how you're doing and everything. Well, the doctor was like, she's very light-skinned. I was like, yeah. And they was like, well, she must have jaundice. I was like, why do you say that? They said, because she's so light. And he, the doctor, he was like, are you? First of all, it wasn't my doctor. It was another doctor that was at the hospital. He was like, are you the mother? You just seen her come out of me, and you're going to ask me, am I the mother? And I was like, yeah. So then he looks over to my husband. And he's like, is this the father? Yes. He, this whole time we've been at this hospital, it's just been us two. You know this is my husband. The doctor was like, well, she's so light-skinned. It must be jaundice. I was like, well, my husband is light-skinned and... My other daughter, she was born real light skin. I was like, some black people are born light skin. They just get darker after time. Y'all, the doctor had me so frustrated. Like, yeah. Babies are born every color. They come in different colors. I was born real light skin. My husband was born real light skin. I'm always in the sun, so... I get darker. My husband, for whatever reason, the sun does not make him dark. It just turns him red. Chunky, she's always in the sun. It makes her darker. But we all started out really, really light. Chunky, when she was a baby, she was clear. So, that doctor, y'all, he had me so mad. I was hot. Okay. Uh, let me tell you. Chi Chi, she's a really, really good baby, you guys. And she's smart. Like, when her pacifier, first of all, she takes a pacifier. I'm so blessed and so grateful for that because y'all know her sister didn't take no pacifier. So, when her pacifier comes out, she will reach for it, honey. She'll be looking for it, like, where, where'd it go? Let me find it. Then she gets it and she puts it back in her mouth. Like, I am so grateful that she takes a pasty because... Chunky, she didn't take a pacifier, so she used me as a pacifier. So that means 24-7, she was on me because I was her pacifier. Uh, let's see. Chi Chi, she loves when I sing to her. Like when she's frustrated or whatever. Like she, let me tell you, she gets frustrated when I leave her with her father. You know, because sometimes I be tired, I need my rest, and I hand her to her father, and she does not like that. She does not like that, and she would just throw a fit. So, to calm her down, I, you know, I have to sing to her, which I have no problem with. Um, we took... We took her to the um, the doctor for, you know, after we left the hospital, they was like, the next day you have to go to a doctor. I don't know why. 
Uh, oh, yes, I do. Because they said the doctor that was at the hospital told the pediatrician that the baby, that Chi Chi had gingivitis. Not gingivitis. <laughs> she had uh, gingivitis. And so we took her to the doctor, and the pediatrician was like, like, no, she doesn't. She's just light skinned. Like, the pediatrician, I love him. Like, he, he, that's the same one we use for Chunky. He is understanding. He knows us. And he was like, it's nothing wrong with her. He was like, why did they tell you that? And I told him everything that that doctor said to me. And he was like, why did he do that? I was like, I don't know. And he was like, that was so unprofessional. I was like, I know. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Another thing, when we was in the hospital, you, you know, everything, she was checking out, everything was good, good, good. I was like, can we go home? They was like, well, you had her at night, so you can't leave the hospital until tonight. Y'all, I have never heard of that. Like, since when they started doing that, I've been at the hospital with a lot of babies because I have a lot of family and friends who have babies. And I'm always that person that goes to the hospital with them when they do labor and delivery with the boo. That's me. I, I love to be there for the support, to be the positive team, to help, you know, mothers, whatever. So I've never heard of that. Because I had my baby at night, we can't leave the hospital until night. I've never heard of that. So y'all let me know if y'all heard of that before. So we had to... We had to wait till it was dark outside to leave the hospital. I'm just glad we got to leave. You know, cause I was I was so tired of being there. The food was delicious. The food was real good, but the service and everything was. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, she had to take a hearing test, and she passed her hearing test. Thank you, God. And they, you know, checked her eyes. She passed. I don't remember them doing none of that with Chunky. And I had them at the same hospital. I don't remember all that. It just, I don't know. But y'all know how my memory, <laughs> I do have a bad memory. So maybe it happened and I just don't remember. Okay. And then they did a car seat test. Y'all. have Do they do car seat tests at your hospital? They didn't do that with Chunky. They didn't test the car seat they made sure we had a car seat but they did not test it so the nurse she was like we have to do a car seat test and i was like okay cool i went tripping so she started reaching for chi chi i was like wait wait a minute what's going on she was like we gotta take the baby to do the car seat test i said what you gonna do put it in the car seat and put the car in the rack to see if it work or not and she was like well, no, we're, we're going to, you know, take her for an hour and 30 minutes and see how she acts in the car seat. I just gave birth to my child, and you want to take her away from me for an hour and 30 minutes? Yo, I have never, ever been away from Chunky that long. So, to have them to ask me to do that with my newborn child that I just gave birth to, to run a test on a car seat, I didn't understand, y'all. I was mad. I was upset. I was like, y'all don't have no other way to test the car seat? They was like, no, we have to put her in the car seat and see how she does. I was like, and I can't go in there? They was like, no, you can't go in there. Y'all, that was so hard for me. Because... I had just had her, literally just had her, and now you're trying to take her away from me, and I know, I understand, we were in the hospital, but it just, I had never heard of that, and I was like, why do y'all have to do that, and I was like, because she's a premature baby, I was like, my other daughter, she was premature, I had her at 36 weeks, both of them was born at 36 weeks, and we didn't have to do no car seat tests, they was like, yeah, we, we've always done that at this hospital, especially since the last seven years. 
I had Chunky three years ago. I was like, that's not true. Because we had her at this hospital at 36 weeks, and we did not do no car seat test. I said they made sure we had a car seat, but they didn't run no tests on the car seat. And she's like, well, it's mandatory. We have to do it, y'all. That was the hardest stuff for me. So they took her, and I was watching the clock. And an hour and 30 minutes went by. And then two hours went by. And I went to the front desk and I asked. I said, where's my daughter? And they was like, she's still being tested. I said, y'all told me an hour and 30 minutes. It's been a, more than an hour and 30 minutes. And they was like, well, the clock doesn't start until this test starts. Y'all, that was so hard for me. I was like. I want my daughter. Give me my daughter. So they finished running the test and everything. And the car seat passed the test. Y'all, that was so hard for me. I'm sorry to be crying, y'all. I'm so emotional. Like, my my emotions are just everywhere, you guys. So, the, the doctor... Also, when we took her to the doctor uh, the next day, the pediatrician, he was checking her and, you know, doing everything they do, testing the legs and everything, and Chi-Chi was just laying there. She was chilling. He was like, she is such a good baby. He was like, your babies are so good because, like with Chunky, same thing. Like, they, they don't cry that much, and, you know, Chi Chi didn't cry at all. She was just like, she was just chilling, like, all right, doctor, do what you gotta do. It was just funny. The, the doctor, he was amazed. Um, you guys, when when Chi Chi starts whining or making any kind of sound, my boobs. Fill up. So like if I if I give her to my husband and my husband like you need to go lay down because my body is still swollen from all the fluids that they were putting me. <clears throat> He's like you need to go lay down. So I go lay down and as soon as I lay down, Chi Chi she starts whining for me to come back and everything. And my husband be like, no, just lay down. But I can't because. My boobs, they fill up and they start to hurt. So I have to get up and empty them out. Uh, the Having vertigo, y'all know I have vertigo. It has me depressed because I don't want to have vertigo with a newborn baby. You get what I'm saying? It's different with Chunky because she's a toddler and she can do things she's independent she's at the age where she can you know do stuff on her own but i have an infant now who can't do anything without her mother uh the hold on uh in the hospital when they handed me gg she went straight for the boob and it hurt, it hurt, it hurt. Because, you know, the colostrum is what comes out first. And the colostrum is really thick. Y'all, it felt like she was biting me. Like she was chewing on my boobs. And I was like, I was crying. Because that's how bad it hurt. It, it hurt really bad. And the nurse, she was like, you know, she was trying to help me or whatever. Like, she was rubbing my boobs and squeezing them, trying to help the colostrum come out. And y'all remember when I was pregnant, and I, y'all know how my boob, well, the areolas, remember how the head got big? And remember then the nipples head got big, and I asked my doctor would I be able to nurse my daughter with everything being so large, and she said yes. Well... At the hospital, I could not. They were too big for Chi Chi's mouth. Like she, Chi Chi would open her mouth like really, really wide, and we'll try to put uh, my boob in there, and it it just it 
it was too big. So the nurse explained to me, she was like, well, because she's a preemie, it's going to take her a while to be able to latch on because she's so small. Mind you, Chi Chi was born 7.9. That's not small. So they was like, she, since she's a preemie, it's going to take time for her to learn how to get on the boob and for her mouth to be able to open big enough to get on the boob. So I asked, could I have a breast pump? And they told me no. For whatever reason, at the hospital, they did not want to give me a breast pump. That was like, need to let her try. And I let her try. And she'll latch on. And then she'll, like, she'll take her hand and put it in her mouth with the boob and pop it out. And it, it just, it wouldn't stay in her mouth at all. Because she kept on pulling it out. Like, Chi Chi is very independent. It, every time the nurse takes my boob and put it in her mouth, Chi Chi will move the nurse hand. Like, she's strong, y'all. She'll move the nurse hand, and she wants to hold my boob. And, and when Chi Chi do it, she puts it in wrong. It was it was painful. It was painful. It was painful. And I was trying to explain to Chi Chi. I was like, Chi Chi, let them do it. Let them do it. And the nurse was trying to tell Chi Chi. She was like, she was like oh, she feisty. She was like, let, let me do it. And Chi Chi was just like, no, I got it. I'm an independent chick. I don't need your help. Yeah. So yeah, we've we've been dealing with that. Um, she'll latch on, but it'd be like for two seconds, cause then she takes her hand to grab my boob and she squeezes really hard, and it is painful, painful, painful. The colostrum is painful when it comes out. So uh, now that I'm at home, I use a breast pump, and that helps. You know, I pump and then. I gave it to her in a bottle, and then after she takes it in a bottle, I uh, formula feed her because she breast milk does not hold her. She will drink, at first she'll just drink two ounces of breast milk, but now she on four ounces. And afterwards, she still wants some formula. Like, this girl can eat. Like, speaking of eating, y'all remember when I was pregnant, and every time I got ready to eat, she'll be... You know, moving like this and my, my belly kicking like that. She do that now, y'all. If she in my lap and I'm holding her and she wants some or whatever I'm eating, y'all. She takes her hands and grabs my bra straps to pull herself up. And she do her feet like this in my lap. Y'all, she is teen too much. I said, Chi-Chi, you can't eat this. You get, you're a baby. You only have milk, y'all. She be, ah, ah. I thought, like, no, you can't have this. Yeah, she already know how to roll over. If you put her on her back, she rolls over to her stomach. Yeah. And then, like, on, in her uh, little bouncer, you lay her in her, her bouncer. This is what she do. Okay, y'all remember when Chunky was a baby? I would put her in the bouncer, and she would raise up. Chi-Chi do the same thing. She, you lay her back like this, she goes, and raise up. Y'all, even when you buckle her in, she do that. Be about to flip the whole bouncer over. I'm like, why my kids don't want to be babies? They they move too fast. They move too fast. I just, I don't know, y'all. Um, I have a big appetite now. I want to eat up everything. Chi Chi has a big appetite. She wants you to give her a bottle after a bottle after a bottle. No, Chi Chi. After after two bottles, no more. I burp her in. Uh, yeah. She when she she now she wants the nurse. She wants to get on the boob, but it hurts so bad. But she like keep hitting her head on her. She will keep pulling on my bra straps and pulling it on my shirt and like she something else, you guys. But let me show you guys her. So you guys, this is Chi Chi. They hold her because she will try to sit up by herself. Say hi. Say hi. Say how y'all doing? 
She loves smiling, you guys. Say hey. Hey. You love your sister? Yeah. Yes, Y'all, Chi Chi be laughing at me. Like, one. I don't know why she be laughing at me. She just all of a sudden started laughing. Okay, so. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, she's a good baby. She really doesn't cry except for when I give it to her dad or if I walk away from her. I'm trying not to spoil her. She uh, she sleeps really good during the daytime. At nighttime, she she wants you to be up feeding her. She likes to eat a lot at night. Uh, she sleeps really good in her bassinet. She sleeps good in her crib. She sleeps good in her bouncer. Like she, she sleeps really good. Oh, you burp! Good job, good job. But yeah, you guys, that's it for my one week uh, postpartum update. If you had your baby, let me know how everything is going. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope. Yeah. Yeah, she's so great. Y'all see her trying to sit up? You have to lay down like a baby. But I thank you guys for watching. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.